Hello everybody, my name is Xior, this is No Lies Left, and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Uh, we're gonna continue this cutscene now. Uh, for me, this is about 10 seconds, so um, I know exactly where we're at, but if you guys forgot, you can watch the end of the last video. Uh, again, I'm sorry about that, but uh, time limit and all that. So here we go. We need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, oh, Mr. God, takes so a swing at everybody. Too. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. That's and weird. she was very helpful when I was looking for you. <laughs> Seriously, Al, site. what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. Someday, Mr. What, Bear. you shot a guy? Someday. And his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Alan, I thought no, you said he wrong. believed you. What the story? fuck is with this uh, doubt? But when you start confusing fiction with Very reality, money. Money, money, you're money, buying money. yourself a ticket money, to money, the money, funny money, farm. Right, wait here. Money. I thought the trick was to, to get him to think about money, and then he'll believe you anything you say. Thermos. Oh, that was a dog. I heard a dog. I like doggies, but in horror games, they're probably scary. Oh wait, are we at the doctor's lodge? Who I punched in the face? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, Aww. I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Buck okay, Charlie. sure. What the fuck is Seriously, Buck Charlie? Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Oh. <laughs> Those situations Got always it. end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. Oh god. She's my Shut wife, up, Barry. and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? It's not why we talk about this never. Just shut up, Barry. You're just if my you try agent. To pull a joke on me, We're not freak friends. Me out, it's working. Ha ha! Let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Barry, when the fuck's the last time I told a funny joke? That should tell you how serious this is. I have some registration forms to sign. Excuse me. I told him. Hand over the phone. I think this is the form the you dog. wanted. <laughs> and here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Oh, nice spot, Oh, too. yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be a really fucking easy walk. Look, God damn it. Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went, poof, into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. Well, maybe there's something to, to those padded beds, room guys. Wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a it's healthy diet of jacket. pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour you sound long like lecture the on homeopathy right here. last month. What, what was the it? The if there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on. I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is oh, you gotta so throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on... Oh, I didn't realize that was just gonna end. I thought we were just gonna keep going. Sorry. I, I do like these conversations. I don't like Barry so far, but I do like Ow? finishing conversations like this. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> What Barry. the fuck was Who's that? It? I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. That you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. You 
You alerted something, bro? You alerted the dog? <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. I haven't read deliverance. Archie. I'm assuming it's a book. Considering that the source material in which I've heard it from here. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Another thermos! Okay, so we're gonna go head out to Lover's Peak, I guess. Is it this way? And switch off the lights. Uh, no, we're gonna keep the lights on, actually. Because I want to remember everything. I don't want to forget stuff. Even the horrible stuff. It's it's good. It's It builds character. Do I have a gun? You bet your out. ass I do. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watching the door now. I'm taking the... I'm, I guess I'm not taking the guard. There's a manuscript, though. Oh, see, I keep missing Barry a single never page. Gotten along with Alice, but he knew Damn it. Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Well, I don't give a fuck what Barry thinks. I know I'm supposed to care about that manuscript I just picked up. Oh wait, what was that? Oh, I gotta use the car! Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Oh god I damn it, that's, I that's what we refer to, to in the business as a cock This wasn't game. the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. That is all true. Right. Oh shit! That's oh shit! <laughs> Damn it! Don't do that, birds. I don't like birds. Fun fact. I'm coming in. Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> oh no, radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked oh, his rear end in the studio. What now, have I done? What's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> what, what a whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much uh, more than that, you know. Tell me about I saw that. No sack race for us I fucking gentlemen. saw that. You're not hiding from me. <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm gonna check out the pond, of course. And one of the pond Fuck, where did that guy go? Because I'm freaking out a little bit. I'll do good in these situations. He's probably right behind me. Well, now he's gonna be behind me. No! No, what do I do? What the fuck? Oh, the light went out. No, I like that light. I, I was going towards it. I was going to be my safe haven. Oh, I hope that game does that cinematic thing when enemies come after me. I mean, I wasn't expecting this to be like, an easy walk or anything. Considering it wasn't just a cutscene. But... Oh, this is so bad. Kia, bitch! Oh. Shut up, birds. Blood on the floor, that's a good sign, it's fine. No one behind me. TV's on now. Crime and punishment. Moose. The cancer and cure it's fine. It's a moose. It's good. It's not gonna try and get me. But some I hope. Are to punish, especially Nothing in there. There's a trap. Brains. Tonight's episode. The okay, we're gonna settle man. down for a minute. We're gonna take this like a man, and we're gonna watch an episode of Night Springs again. The man in the mirror, ladies and He's gentlemen. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So. You're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? 
had it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Yeah, it does. Maybe you're not the literary I want to read that cop. Okay, so you mess him up. The what arrest was? officer. Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated what? it. What? You really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Oh huh. my god, it was that? a clone. Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Oh, really he's he's the clone. He's the clone, the clone guy. To me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? Oh, that? I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. Shoot him. I, I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. That's pretty freaky. Alan, when you're looking that way, it makes me think something's over there. Knock that shit off. Okay, we're gonna call that as the episode of Night Springs. And I'm not gonna leave it there, though, because that's fucking bullshit. So, I'm gonna spend the last couple minutes uh, tracking down something to kill. I'm sick of this game making me feel like a sissy. It's not even that bad of a horror game. We're just gonna do it, okay? Here I go. I don't care. I don't care. Manuscript? Fuck. <laughs> I wanted to find something, but now we gotta read the manuscript. Uh, okay. The Rusty Aaron dying. Visitor Center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Oh, so other people can find the manuscript? I thought it was just an Alan Wake. Oh, shit. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, next time on Alan Wake, Rusty, we, on. Rest, oh, we, coming, we witness please. Rusty's murder. I'll see you next time.